In the previous video, we were done exploring the inside of this room. One thing I skipped over was this button on the outside of the room. I'm going to skip over it again for the moment and go downstairs here. Admire the view. There's a gate here and unfortunately it's locked. But look at this. There's another one of these small daggers below it. Let's take a closer look. Uh-huh, how sneaky! You can actually just go under the gate. The dagger was actually placed there by the game designer specifically so that people would know to click under the gate, otherwise nobody tried that. Now we're inside a cave and it leads to a wall. And if we look through here, we're actually looking into the room. That's interesting to know. So how about that button? What happens when we push the button? All kinds of machinery starts working and... Look at that! The room is rotating. Yes, this is the rotating room puzzle. The first major puzzle in Riven. It's a puzzle that has been known to drive some people crazy. It's actually not that difficult in my opinion, at least not compared to some of the other puzzles in the game. If we look inside now, we see that the other door is now in front of another gate, which we also cannot get through, because it's closed. So let's rotate it once more. look inside. Now the um, first door is in front of the original gate and we cannot see the second door. So I have a uh, suspicion where the second door is. Let's see if that's true. And it is. We can now enter the room from the cave. But it's not very helpful because, well, it, we just stuck around stuck in front of this gate again. So let's go back. And rotate the room again. The rotating room was apparently a real nightmare for the game designers because of all the different states it has, with gates opened and closed, and bridges raised or not. And uh, they had to render images for all these different states, which must have been a logistical nightmare. Okay, now we can enter the room from this side again, and get out through another side, except that there's another closed gate there. So that doesn't help us. Let's continue rotating that room. Who needs monsters to fight in a game? We've got rooms to rotate. It's much more exciting. Okay, now we cannot see either door. But if we count it right, one of them is once again in this cave. And we did, in fact, count right. The other door now leads to another cave, which we hadn't seen before. And inside that cave we find a valve, and there's the sound of steam. If we look up, we can see steam coming from there. And this sign here, which looks a lot like the telescope. So let's turn this valve. And we'll uh, look at the result of that action a little bit later. For now, let's continue with the rotating room. In this cave we find two more switches, a switch on the left here and a button here. If we push that, it will continue to rotate the room. It's 
So now we can't get out of this cave. So let's rotate the room a little bit further. It's interesting how rotate room seems to take less time when you can hear it but not see it. Okay, now we can get back in, and the second door leads to this uh, gate again. So, seems like we can't do anything with that, but we haven't tried this uh, switch here yet. So, let's throw the switch, and it opens the gate. Who would have thought? Well, I would, but I've played this game before. So now we can get through here, but unfortunately all we reach is another closed door. Or do we? In fact, we reach more switches. So let's uh, raise this switch. Okay, we can hear some gate uh, being opened, but we cannot see it. But we can continue with our favorite hobby, which is uh, room rotating. I'm just trying to get all the room rotating business over with uh, in uh, one video. Okay, now we can get back out to the outside. Now, while we're outside, before we continue, let's do one more thing. Let's see if our actions with the steam valve, ha valve had any effect on the telescope. We can definitely hear the sound of steam now. And indeed, we can now lower and raise the telescope using these controls, but... Since the hatch is still closed, it doesn't really do anything, but... We will need this at the end of the game. Yes, all the way at the end. So let's turn our attention back to this rotating room. I'm gonna need to rotate it twice more, and then we'll be done. Last time. If you've been paying attention to the positions of the room, you should know that doing this has now put the room back into its original position. Except that this time, the gate is opened. So now we can cross the bridge and go into the giant dome. If we look to the left here, we see the place where we arrived on uh, Riven. If we look to the right, there's another button here, so we can also rotate the room from this side, but we don't need to do that. Going into the dome, we see a lake of some sorts uh, inside it, and some sort of machinery in the middle. At this point, it's not really clear yet what's going on. If we look behind us here, there's a lever. But it doesn't look like it does anything. Ahead, we find a diagram. And these are the Tetris pieces that we saw in one of the uh, religious images in the rotating room. Obviously, they're not really Tetris pieces. For one thing, they don't all have four blocks. But um, what they do stand for, we don't know yet. The bridge on this side is unfortunately opened. And it can only be closed from the other side, so we can't go this way. We can go the other way, but we'll do that in the next video. See you next time.